Hello everyone and welcome to HHD Unit 3 Area of Study 2 Promoting Health and Wellbeing. This video will focus on dot point 1 of Area of Study 2. Let's begin. Dot point 1 looks at the improvements in Australia's health status since the 1900s and reasons for these improvements, focusing on policy and practice relating to old public health, the biomedical approach to health and improvements in medical technology, development of new public health including the social model of health and the Ottawa Charter for Health Promotion, as well as the relationship between biomedical and social models of health. For the purpose of this video, I will be leaving out the Ottawa Charter for Health Promotion as I will be making another video that addresses that concept. So the first thing we're going to look at is old public health. So old public health focused on changing the physical environment, given that the primary cause of death in the 1900s were communicable diseases. Old public health also looks at providing safe water, sanitation, sewage disposal and improved housing conditions. Now, old public health was successful to an extent. However, communicable diseases were no longer the problem. Diseases such as smallpox were being eradicated, but what challenged society were now lifestyle-related diseases such as obesity and type 2 diabetes. Now, for new public health, New public health expands the traditional focus on individual behaviour change to one that considers the ways in which physical, social, cultural and political environments impact on health. There is a lot more focus on education and helping people understand the reasons behind the diseases present in society. And we will also be looking at the social model of health. The biomedical model is characterised as the quick fix or band-aid approach to health. It takes into account the physical or biological aspects of disease and illness. It is practised by doctors and medical practitioners and relates to the diagnosis, treatment and cure of disease and illness. Like anything, the biomedical model has advantages and disadvantages. Some of the advantages include enables common conditions to be quickly and effectively treated. Many causes of death that were common in the past are able to be diagnosed, treated and cured and therefore potentially extending somebody's life expectancy, improves quality of life as many chronic conditions can be managed with medications and surgery, therefore reducing pain and suffering. Some disadvantages, however, include that the biomedical model relies on health professionals and technology, which can be costly and also inaccessible in some rural or remote areas. The biomedical model does not always promote good health as it does not focus on the causes of ill health and it does not encourage individuals to be responsible for their health. And not every condition can be treated, for example, some cancers. Now, this list is by no means extensive. Feel free to add more advantages or disadvantages as you go. So now we're going to look at the social model of health. The social model of health is characterised as the cause of the cause. It is a conceptual framework within which improvements in health and well-being are achieved by directing effort towards addressing the social, economic and environmental determinants of health. It also reflects Australia's new public health. So there are five areas that we look at. So of course, these will be looked at in greater depth in class and when you're studying. 
but just briefly a address the broader determinants of health so we're looking at social economic and environmental r acts to reduce social inequality this ensures that there's quality health care available for all e empowers individuals and the community so this is providing knowledge understanding and information that will allow individuals to make good decisions about their own health a acts to enable access to health care and s involves intersectorial collaboration and this involves different organizations working together in coordinated action to improve health outcomes. The social model of health does however have some advantages and disadvantages. So some of the advantages include the encouragement of better choices to prevent the onset of disease, education, so health literacy can be passed down from generation to generation, the responsibility of health is shared it's not just the health sector. Individuals are held accountable for their own health too. Some of the disadvantages include not all conditions can be prevented, such as some genetic conditions. Health promotion messages can be ignored. The social model does not address the current health of individuals, so those who are already unwell and it does not promote the development of technology and medical knowledge. To conclude, we're going to look at both the biomedical model and the social model side to side, just so we can distinguish between them. So the biomedical model is the band-aid or quick fix approach that focuses on biological and physical aspects of disease and illness. It involves diagnosing and treating illnesses and conditions once the symptoms are present. It is centered around doctors, health professionals and hospitals who administer the treatment. And some examples are stitches to assist a healing cut, surgery to replace a hip and chemotherapy to treat cancer. Now I've got the social model so it addresses the broader determinants of health that focus on social, economic and environmental aspects of disease and illness. We've got the principles of the social model areas, which we looked at, focuses on the community and preventing illness in the community. It's concerned with the influences and causes of ill health rather than treating the condition itself. And some examples are health promotion programs such as Close the Gap, SunSmart, Breast Screen, and the Quit Campaign. That concludes this video. I hope your knowledge of Dot Point One from Area of Study 2 has been consolidated. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or leave it in the comments below. Thank you.